What's up guys, it's Crash, and this is a video that I did not expect to be making today, and this kind of came out of nowhere. We haven't seen any leaks or anything about this, but a new video game is being teased that is allegedly a large-scale PvP first-person shooter, and I'm not gonna lie to you, the last half of the trailer that you guys are seeing behind me looks like some large-scale combat that we might potentially see in a Battlefield game. So we'll get into what all we know right now, but the gist of it is next week at Gamescom opening night live on Tuesday, August 22nd at 2 p.m. Eastern time, you're gonna be able to see an official reveal of this game, some more information, I think, or at least a longer extended gameplay trailer, but it's really cool to have a gameplay trailer of a video game right off the rip. So let's talk about what it is. The game is called Delta Force. And if you played the original title, you might be as old as I am because it's from like 20 or 25 years ago, something crazy like that. I came into gaming a little bit later in my life, so I never played it. You guys can tell me in the comments if you have seen or played the original game and tell me a little bit about it because one of the producers worked on that game now works at the developer Teamy Studio Group, which you might not know that, but you definitely know one of the games they worked on. They are the ones behind Call of Duty Mobile, which actually plays pretty well mobile does come into this as well but it's not the only thing this game is going to be cross-platform spanning pc consoles and mobile so it's going to be across all the platforms and the gameplay trailer you guys can see behind me definitely doesn't look like a mobile game so i think that is a little bit of a sigh of relief that we can breathe and man that last part does look battlefield s but it's probably let's just get this out of the way I don't want to hear the Battlefield killer thing or anything like that. I think it would be a disservice to compare this game to something like Battlefield with the storied history that it has. Also with the last couple titles of Battlefield not necessarily feeling very Battlefieldy. What even is Battlefield anymore? Let's just hope this is a large scale PvP game. That's a lot of fun. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, but yeah, the proper unveiling is going to be next week. I want to show you guys some of these screenshots. As I said, they look really cool. There's a little bit more information in an article that was written by IGN where they did interview the producer Shadow Guo. And he said, our team has always been interested in creating realistic military themed shooter games. As the producer, my first FPS game was Delta Force. He goes on to say, it left a lasting impression on it. Delta Force was celebrated for its realistic depiction of open world combat, large scale multiplayer PVP, and its portrayal of tip of the spear special operations forces so when you start to hear open world combat and large-scale multiplayer pvp a lot of people in the battle battlefield community are gonna want to pay attention i really do feel like he went on to say that they want to uphold the authentic essence of the original delta force game that's why if any of you guys have played it or know much about that franchise's past i would love to hear it in the comments down below he said while infusing a near future flavor from both artistic and narrative perspective so it sounds like it's going to be a game a modern near future military shooter which if you had to ask me is probably my favorite time frame to go for because it's still relatable and kind of immersive to what's going on today. But being in a little bit of the future, it gives you a little bit of artistic freedom to mess with new gadgets and new weapons and things like that. They went on to say that they employed real life actors for character building, utilized photogrammetry for 3D world creation. They captured tactical movements from military professionals and sought guidance from former special forces personnel to ensure the authentic tone of everything going on in the game. So that stuff sounds really cool and immersive. He also did talk about a little snippet where the game is confirmed to have a campaign. He said the campaign mode is based on the movie Black Hawk Down. Players will be able to experience authentic and thrilling battles from the celebrated movie. So it sounds like it's gonna be that open search and rescue type game, but there is going to be an, uh, an immersive campaign experience for those of you people that like that. There hasn't been a full-fledged Battlefield campaign in some time. Towards the end of the article, which if you guys do wanna read the full article after this video, link in the description. Of course, we're good journalists around here. Uh, he goes on to talk about, our game designers chose to build an immersive multiplayer battleground that could accommodate even larger scale PVP than the previous 32 player limit. So it sounds like, if I'm, I may be wrong or not, but it sounds like from this, that it used to be 16 versus 16. And it sounds like they might be stepping that up. Again, wouldn't we love to see a near future 32 versus 32 game? Uh, they are, they says that they're gonna create a grand atmosphere of combat on ground, sea and air. So sea combat is something that's even missing from 2042. We designed a variety of methods for engagement and maps that integrate diverse terrain features such as vertical height differences and caves, as well as different vehicle routes. So hopefully, a lot of thought went into how the maps are designed. He goes on to say that there's gonna be assault vehicles, helicopters, armored vehicles, attack boats, terrain vehicles, jeeps, pickups, fighter jets, and drones. 
these vehicles added the gameplay experience of large scale PVP, they say. So you do see in there that there are going to be attack boats. So there's gonna be actual naval combat. It looks like something that's not in Battlefield 2042 very much. And again, what do I think of all this? While this is really exciting and some of the things that you see in here are like, you instantly wanna think, you know, this is gonna be a competitor battlefield. That is a big, big task. You have a you have a company like DICE that has years of experience, although some of the, most of the developers were newer than the previous battlefields. You just have, you know, a company like EA behind them and a massive budget and 2042 is what they came up with. What I'm trying to say is building a large scale multiplayer shooter is very, very difficult. It's an incredibly tall task, but the developers behind Call of Duty Mobile could be ones that could potentially pull this off. It's gonna be really interesting to see how this plays out. Uh, if you wanna stay tuned to the channel, I will probably make another video uh, after opening night live and talk about it because this game uh, does get me a little bit excited. But if other quote unquote battlefield killer or battlefield competitor type games have taught us anything, World War III, I think we should be just a little bit hesitant and definitely keep our eyes open and look around and see what this is actually gonna be and not get our hopes up too incredibly high. I just wanted to keep you guys updated because we'll be keeping track of it over here on this channel, let you guys know everything that comes up with it, everything we can find out about it, and when we can play the dadgum thing. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'd love to see you next time.